Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be studying about the built-in functions that exist for tuples in the Python programming language. Okay, so the first built-in function is the length function. We have seen this function uh, in the previous videos also. So when you apply the length function on a tuple, it will return the length or the number of elements that are present in that tuple. Okay. So suppose we have a tuple with five elements, then the length of tuple will give you the result as five. Okay. Coming to the next function is the tuple function itself. So this function can be used to create an empty tuple in case you do not pass any argument to this function. Or if you want to create a tuple and you want to assign initialize uh, the tuple with some elements because tuples are immutable you won't be able to change those values so if you want to assign elements inside the tuple as well you can pass those elements inside the argument or inside as an argument to the tuple function so let's take an example if you want to create a tuple named tuple1 then you use this function tuple and round brackets and in this case an empty tuple will be created okay now, if you want to uh, initialize the values, the elements of the tuple as uh, A, E, I, O, U, then you pass the string A, E, I, O, U. And if you pass a sequence data type, then each and every element of that data type will become an independent element of the tuple when you pass it as an argument to the tuple function. Okay. Now, similarly, instead of a string, you can pass a list. List is also a sequence data type. So, each element of this list, that is 1, 2, 3, becomes an element of the new tuple named tuple2. Okay. And you can also use the range function here. We know that whenever we use a range function and specify a value inside the range function, then a range of numbers is generated starting from 0 and going till this particular argument minus 1. So, this new tuple, tuple 3, will have the elements 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay. Coming to the next built-in function for tuples, this is the count function. So the count function, just like the count function for lists, here also it will count the occurrences of a particular argument that is passed to it. So if this is a tuple having these elements, tuple 1, and we want, we want to count the occurrence of an element 10, then since 10 is occurring three times, the value 3 will be returned in this case. And if you pass as an argument an element that is not present inside the tuple, the count function will return 0. It will not throw an error, it will return 0. The next is the index function. So this function can be used to find the index of the first occurrence of an element of a value that is passed as an argument to this function okay and if the uh, value does not exist between inside the tuple on which this function is being called then an error will be returned so uh, if we have a tuple 10 20 30 40 and 50 and we try to find the index of the value 30 so the return value would be 2 because 30 is present at index 2 Okay, and uh, again, as I said, if we try to find the index of a value that does not exist, value error will be thrown by the Python interpreter. Okay, now coming to the sorted function. Sorted function is used to sort the elements in the tuple and in the case of tuple, it will return a sorted list of elements. Okay. So it should be noted that no change will be made in the original tuple and the return value will be a sorted list. Okay. So if you have a tuple which, uh, which has strings Rama, Hina, Raj, Mohsen and Aditya, then when you call the sorted function on this tuple, you get a list. Carefully note that these are square brackets and the values inside this list are sorted alphabetically. So A to Z in the uh, in terms of the ASCII increasing values. Okay. So Aditya, Hina, Mohsen, Raj and Rama. Then the last three functions, they are very simple functions as we have 
seen them for the list also. Uh, tuple data type also supports finding the minimum value present in the tuple, the maximum value present in the tuple and the sum of elements present in the tuple. So if this is a tuple, you can find the min of the tuple as 9, the maximum value out of this should be 87 and the sum of the integral values present in the tuple would be 235 here. Okay. So that's all for today's video. I hope you have understood all these questions. Please let us know how did you find the video and if you want to study any particular topic from Python programming language. Thank you for watching. Till we meet in the next video. Mind your exams.